all right guys so let's go over and talk about should you summon on the part two of the anniversary for the top or the yeah i think it's called the legendary top banner and i want to go over the banner itself here and i want to see if it's really good to summon or it is pretty mid to summon so of course as we have is the two brand new lrs for the anniversary is going to be the cow king goku and as well as the giant a vegeta who are actually pretty good units i definitely would say the goku is way better uh for sure because um he is just a really disgusting unit let's go over and see the cow can go just real fast just to see what he can do as an lr himself here so remember he's not he, he, he does not have a two percent leader skill on global but it does have a two percent leader skill on jp which was the recent do confess for the uh trunks and vegeta so this guy is an all all out struggle or final trump card e plus four attack defense 150. i wish that these lrs the yellow coin lrs are now um buffing up the stats to at least like 170. That, that'd be pretty great that's basically a dokkan fast level which they're obviously going to be like dokkan fast level like beyond the dokkan fast level or at least 160. 160 or at least 170 that, that, that'd be pretty great but of course they're going to keep the 150 for for some god reason but you know what maybe in the, in the near future please buff it up to at least like 160 or 170 or 180 that'd be kind of great but they are pretty good here so he is the Kalkin attack, which is Red's attack and defense for one turn. And then the Ultra Spec times four Kalkin Kamameha. Massively Red's attack and defense for one turn. So that is a 100% for uh, Rise for defense and attack. Let me go check. Yep, 100% defense. So that, that's pretty good. That's really good. But so he's also sacrificing 4% of HP. Passive skill is, of course, if there is if there is an enemy whose name includes Vegeta, Kid Jr., uh, Kid Jr., etc., excluded. At the start of, turn of the start of characters attacking turn, activate the, the animation only once. Uh, keep us three attack defense plus seven percent for the rest of the battle. So you are going to be wanting to face Vegeta units because this is this is a basically permanent uh, stats to his uh, to himself basically. So that's a permanent buff, which is really nice. So definitely he's, he's going to be really nice for the the LVE and also uh, you know any other Vegeta events that has there so unfortunately he's i mean he's still pretty good without it um but he's gonna be more uh viable definitely against a vegeta unit here so he does gain attack and defense 100 and then seven a key for seven turns from, from a sort of turn also plus additional plus 59 percent to attack and defense when performing a super attack also an additional attack plus 59 if it's going to be an ultra super attack so he's getting more attack so that's going to be multiple kiv i think that's going to be it and He's going to hit a high number of attacks. Remember, right here is pretty much the final attack for against the, what you call it, the Vegeta here. So that's going to be a lot of numbers here. He's definitely going to be really great as a 50, 55% unit. So he does also change his key person to, to a certain type, excluding uh, STR to STR key spirits and a high chance of warning critical hit, which is pretty good. So he's also orb changing to pretty much get the ultra spec which is gonna be nice and also he's a high chance to crit which is pretty powerful the only thing that this guy doesn't have is the dodging which is going to be a bit of an issue but that's fine though his defense is going to be really fine so definitely he's going to be one of the most top tier uh lr units in the game uh he also has a add skill which pretty much it's the spirit bomb greatly or not attacking uh for greatly with attack temporarily causes ultimate damage and then stuns enemy for one turn, which is really nice. And also the conditions is super easy. Can't be activated when HP is 59 or less, which is very powerful. Categories, so sorry, links are Kamameha, Z Photos, Open Flash, the, the same lineage, shocking speed, from the limit, and legendary power. Categories, Pure Saiyan, Soul Power, Goku's Family, Kamameha, Found Trump Card, All Struggle, Turtle School, Bottom of, a Bond of Friendship, as well as Battle, Battle of Fate, Saiyan Saga, and the Bond of Parent and Child. So he's gonna be fantastic. He also has a farmable SA, which is the STR Kalgan Goku from the Lord Slug event. So definitely, if you do um, pull him, do not waste any Kai's on him at all, because this guy is going to be farmable to definitely get that. And if you go into the Vegeta right here, he has a lot of Vegeta cards that, that can be farmable. So that's pretty easy to do as uh, so well here. He is actually pretty good. Definitely one of the most interesting units as, as well so he does have of course the same thing as goku if he does if you're, if you're facing a goku unit he does um have a, a 
an animation or an entrance animation. Also, he gains key plus three attack for 60 turns. I think Goku gets what? 70%, right? Yeah, 70%. So he gets 10% more than Vegeta here, which doesn't, it's really weird. I kind of wish that they give him attack and defense plus 60%. And of course, he gains a uh, key plus three, attack and defense on 100%, so plus additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack, and then plus additional 60% if it is an ultra super attack, regards all attacks, which is going to be nice. Um, plus additional key plus three and a 30% to attack within the same turn when a guard is activated. So he's going to hit pretty hard if you do, you know, if the enemy is attacking on the first slot or ab uh, above you, and if he does get the guard active you're getting more key and then more attack here so that's actually pretty nice definitely a very good unit itself but i do prefer the Calvin goku a lot more better here so he does have final bullet attack which is rice, rice attack for one turn i kind of wish they did rise defense for one turn i'm sorry attack and defense for one turn also he has an aoe attack here which is kind of stupid they did they, they didn't give him like attack and defense for one turn, which is kind of stupid. So, yeah, this is why I actually do prefer the Captain Goku because he, he does rise attack and sorry, massively rise, rise attack, attack and defense one turn. And it's also ultra uh, super attack here. But with Vegeta, nothing. <laughs> it's, it's just nothing. So, which is kind of very odd that he's not doing anything on his ultra super attack here. So, definitely, I wish that they just had in some defense. And also add and rest that attack and defense one turn here on his uh 18 key super here. Also a very I would say <clears throat> kind of an easy condition for him as well. Turns for great ape can be active when HP is 40 or less here. So that, that's pretty cool. But his links are actually very weird. So he has the same for race, royal lineage, over 9,000, transformation transform, say war, which is a really nice link for the Super Saiyan Fours. Turn the limit and legendary power, which I do think of the best um, between these two paths of better links, is definitely the Kalgan Gogu who has the better links here. Uh, so the categories are Giant Form, Pure Saiyans, Jump Ball Seekers, Vegeta's Family, Terrifying Conquerors, Bump on Trump Card, Inhuman and Deeds, Shrine Eight Power, Space Dream Warriors, Consider Warriors, Planetary Destruction, Consider Warriors, Battle of Fate, and Saiyan Saga. So he has also a Farmable SA. If we are in the base form of Vegeta here, so let's go to the base form of Vegeta here. He does have a couple of Fire Ball Essays here, which is from the Broly movie saga, uh, the Prime Battle, the event, the Cell Saga event, as well as the new event that we got recently from the, I think from the Bulma and Chi Chi. And also we got an SR and also got two, two more SRs, one from the Super Strike. So definitely, he has a way more easier time to uh, get those SA. But other than that, between these two, I would definitely would say um, Goku is the better one from between. But I do want the Vegeta for specifically the World Tournament. And also could help out well, from like a future extremes or battle roads, which it could be really helpful because the AoE is pretty strong. So definitely, I would say do not be sad if you do pull the Vegeta here. So, um, if we go into the banner itself here, uh, it has decent amount of cards here, I would say units. Um, this physical Vegeta here and also the tech Kalkin Goku are pretty good units, definitely uh, for like long events here. Uh, this Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Vegeta, the Mario Vegeta are really good. They all here for getting easy a uh they're, they're they're definitely good i would say but they've been power creep over the years and i mean i could definitely like use these two right here the physical and the Kalkin goku for long events for the stacking and defense here um this super saiyan 2 goku and angel and the micro Gita are pretty good uh definitely they're gonna be like orb changers and also they'll hit pretty hard uh, but i prefer these two here because they stack attack and defense uh the only one that is better who uh, it's actually pretty top tier is definitely this uh physical hard virus goku who's actually, who's actually fantastic um out of all these cards besides the lrs this guy is the most unit that you want from that banner itself here because he does he does stack his attack greatly which is a 50 percent He's also sacrificing himself, sorry, sacrificing separate of HP, and also he has a high chance of stunning the enemy. So that's sorry, high, sorry, customer damage enemy with the high chance of sacrificing separate of Never mind. He has a high chance of sacrificing separate of HP, which is going to be okay, actually. 
So, so it's a 50 50 here, but he does, you know, do, does a lot in this battle here. So I definitely want, want my first copy of this Goku if I do pull in the banner. But me, most likely, I'm going to keep on my rainbow tickets for the fourth, sorry, for the uh, Super Saiyan Force because I, I do one more dupe of them and then I'll be done with the anniversary. But if I do have some extra rainbow tickets left, then I will summon for the uh, this banner here itself here. So let's go for the non. Uh, Featured units here we have, of course, the latest to up right now is going to be the Gohan and Trunks. So I expect this Gohan Trunks to be in it. We have the, the Gohan, so I get Gohan Trunks. We have the Krillin and uh, Krillin and Krillin, Gohan and Krillin, who are really good here. Definitely want to say the one that you want to pull the most in this banner. Um, I do think it's going to be the tech Goku Black here, who is going to be the best um, unit uh, once we get this to global. But for now, um, you, you definitely want to get at least a copy of the of like this Goku Black here. Um, the ooh, and Vegeta here, which is really nice. Definitely a really good um, small unit here. We got the uh, UI Goku, the uh, God Goku had hit here. Curlis, uh, Junemba, which is going to be really nice. Um, the Broly, I mean, that's the, Trunks, Bardock, uh, this cell here who got recent in Easy A. Yeah, so there's definitely a lot of really good allies here. The most you want to pull is probably the uh, Tech Rose Monster because he is fantastic as an Easy A. So. I mean, don't be sad if you pull any other ones like this uh, Mighty Mask who got it, who, who got his root first in EZA, who's really fantastic. Um, I do think I do think the next EZA is going to be probably the Tech Goku or probably the Bojack, maybe uh, Whis for Power Frieza. Uh, I think that's about it that I can think of who's next. But maybe this Tech Broly that'd be pretty nice. Um, but I do think um, definitely we're going to see some LR uh, easy. Maybe the baby. This baby here is next for an easy. Potentially, uh, JP is going to get a Bill Confess baby. And we might just get an easy for this baby here, which is going to be well, probably fantastic for that event and for the uh, red zone, maybe. So, yeah, so this is going to be the first for the unfitted units here. I would want to at least pull off my. First copy of Kagan Goku, as well as the Vegeta here. But if I do get an unfeatured unit here, I want the most is basically is more dupes of the Goku, sorry, the Gohan and Trunks. And as well, my first copy of this Nappa here, because this Nappa I, has been pretty much dodging me and I need him for my world tournament team. And any other unit that I don't need is probably the Trunks here. He's already rainbow. I do not need any copies of the Goku Black. He's already rainbow. But any other unit that I need, I definitely need to uh, at least a copy or two. So, all right, guys, that's about it for the video. And if you, if you did like this video, please leave a like down below. Also comment down below. Or you summoning on this banner here. I do not spend a single stone on this banner. Keep your stones for Basically, the Broly campaign now because if you ha already have the fourth units, or sorry, the fourth units, the seven year units, which is the go uh, the gods and then the same force, save them, save your stones. Do not go chase for a copy of them at all. Uh, for, sorry, for a dupe of them, it's not worth it. Uh, one copy is enough for the seven year anniversaries. But if you get lucky, sure, there you go. But I would say do not spend a single stone on the uh, this banner at all. I mean, it's great they are they have these two here, but just spend your rainbow tickets on the this banner here. Do not spend a single dragon stones on this banner because we're going to be getting is like campaign. But first, we're going to get into physical Raditz before going to Royal campaign. So I advise you guys to skip the banner for Raditz unless if it has discounts, do them. But afterwards, stop, stop, not someone for Raditz. If you get rest from, from the discounts, I feel sorry for you. But other than that, <laughs> don't spend a single dime on the physical rights banner. It's not that great. I mean, it, it is kind of great, but the unit itself is not worth it. It is not worth it. So I'd advise a guy to skip. Um, But if you're a light spender on this game, I would say go for a couple multis for the Kalkin Goku and uh, Vegeta, if you have any luck at all. But if, but if you don't get them, Save your money for the world campaign because that is next. And yeah, just don't worry about it. Just do not worry about this banner. Just use your rainbow tickets for the players. Just use your rainbow tickets. That's about it. But that, guys, definitely use your rainbow tickets for yeah, the other bit of self because if you don't have the the gods or the old 4s, definitely spend your rainbow tickets on that. But if you do have them both, 
just go wild on the uh legendary top banner for sure but then guys um yeah the banner drops tomorrow well technically today today is the daily 25th so that it drops around i think what one in the morning for me so i will probably would do my rainbow tickets video uh that time and i will probably would do all those tickets for the sub fours and if i get them that video then i will spend the rest of my rainbow tickets on the lr so all right guys i'll see you next time peace